Let's take a look at the cogent patterns, the good patterns of inductive logic. And we're going to see that they're going to be sort of a subset of the ones that we saw with regard to predicate logic. One okay, all most A's are B's. X is an A, therefore X is a B, or I could say almost all. Most Americans love mom and apple pie. Richard Legum is an American. Therefore, Richard Legum loves, loves mom and apple pie. And here's another cotton, cotton, excuse me, let me see if I can speak English. Here's another common pattern that we're going to see that's going to be interesting when we look at inductive arguments. We're going to say X is an A, X is a B, most ABs, that is most things that are A and B, are C's, therefore X is a C. And let's look at an example. Boris is healthy. Boris is a dog. Most healthy dogs like to chase squirrels. Therefore, Boris likes to chase squirrels. And these basically are going to be the cogent patterns of inference, the cogent patterns of arguments, or the good patterns of arguments in inductive logic. Now turning to some of the not good patterns, since there aren't a lot, 